Hi everyone, my name is Frankie and welcome to a movie a day challenge. Today is day number 322 and it's November 18th, 2018. Today I'll be watching the 1950 western film Winchester 73. Now in each episode of a movie a day challenge, I pick one film that I've never seen before. And then I take that movie's movie poster and place it to the side of it. I do this because I absolutely have no idea of what the film that I'm about to watch is about. And being that I have absolutely no clue about the film or what it's about, I feel like I need to draw some type of conclusion of what I think the film may be about, based solely on the movie poster itself. In saying this, let's go ahead and take a look at the 1950 Western film movie poster to Winchester 73. Now, from what I've seen in Western movies so far for this month and its genre, I've known that the name Winchester has been said in a few movies, and it's basically due to a rifle. So, in this movie poster, we see the great actor James Stewart holding a rifle, which is most likely the Winchester 73. And I'm taking it that this rifle is going to play a major impact on the film itself, because basically the film's named after it, and it's also being shown in the movie poster itself. Now, the movie poster is just a complete, huge explosion of action scenes in the film. And it looks like it's going to be pretty cool. Although this is a vintage movie poster, and it has many of the scenes drawn and not actually shown, but that is the way of the movie posters back in the day, I still think it's going to be pretty cool. I mean, uh, the good, the bad, and the ugly film earlier this month was the same way. It was a drawn movie poster, and it had action scenes, and the film is incredible to watch when you actually watch it. So I'm expecting pretty much the same thing from the 1950 Western film Winchester 73, to have many scenes in this film being shown that are going to be very cool seeing with my own eyes that are filled with action. What do I expect from the film? Well, basically, I expect this rifle to do its job and to... Uh, be picking off some people that are far away in this film. I'm looking forward to seeing the acting of James Stewart and enjoying the film, the 1950 Western film, Winchester 73. Now, after I finish analyzing the movie poster itself, I then let you, the viewer, know that I'm going to go ahead and watch Winchester 73. But before I go and do that, I want to let you, the viewer, know that after I finish watching Winchester 73, I then come back and tell you a little bit about the film. However, I don't go in great detail about the movie. You see, I don't release any major spoilers about the film, nor do I tell you anything about the plot of the film either. Why? Well, because I don't want to ruin your chance at watching a really great film for the first time. And since this is also my first time watching Winchester 73, I wouldn't want anyone to spoil the film for me by telling me any major spoilers about the movie, or tell me anything about the movie's plot either. I want you to enjoy this film for what it's worth, and be entertained by it. That's the sole purpose for a movie ending challenge. Now, in case you've previously seen the 1950 Western film Winchester 73 previously, then please feel free to substitute Winchester 73 for another film for your viewing pleasure. It doesn't even have to be in the genre of Western films. This way you can take part in a movie a day challenge and possibly watch each film along with me as I go along. In saying that, I'm going to go ahead right now and watch the 1950 Western film Winchester 73, and then I'm going to come back and tell you a little bit about the film. I'll be right back. I just finished the 1950 Western film Winchester 73, and I want to let you, the viewer, know that Winchester 73 is a good movie. At times it may seem a little dull with some scenes, but the film does pick up. And to be quite honest with you, the viewer, it's got a terrific climax to the end of this film. This movie picks up, it's got really cool gunfighting scenes, it's got an interesting story that makes you keep on guessing, but all in all there are scenes that basically dull the film down a little bit. I didn't particularly care for it, but the film itself is really cool to watch and really interesting. I really also enjoyed the shootouts towards the film itself, I'm not going to get into it, but just know that there are some shootouts. Now, would I recommend Winchester 73 to a family member or friend? Yes, I would. To some that also enjoy the Western genre of film, I would definitely recommend it. Would I watch Winchester 73 again? Yes, I would. I really enjoyed watching it this time. I definitely would watch it again. 
Now, if you like today's episode, you see that thumbs up underneath this video? Click it. Give us a like for today's episode. As you're doing that, maybe you've seen the 1950 Western film Winchester 73 and liked it. Maybe you've seen it and you didn't like it. Maybe you're interested in watching the film, you're watching my review about the movie. You're going to go watch the film after watching this review and then come back and write something. Well, whichever the three may be, please tell me in the comment box down below. Right down there. And as you're doing that, you see that word subscribe underneath this video? Click it. Subscribe to a movie a day challenge. Now, tomorrow is day number 323 of a movie a day challenge, and I'll be watching the 1955 Western film, The Man from Laramie. My name is Frankie. I will be here tomorrow for day number 323 and the 1955 Western film, The Man from Laramie. I will see you tomorrow.